Hey, 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 guys, welcome back to C Code Solutions with your girl, with your coder, Khomatsram Peculium. Today, we're working a more of a backward output problem, and we'll be using loops. And our problem today goes write sections of C code to do the following display the multiples of 3 backwards from 33 to 3 inclusive and 2 display the uppercase letters of the alphabet backwards from Z to A let's open our IDE and get coding hash include iustream Now for the declarations. The first problem just outputs numbers with this loop. So no variables to declare. On the second problem, we're working with alphabets. So we will need to declare the variable that will hold the letters. We'll declare it here. Now to output. Output multiples of 3 from 33 to 3. Any variable name is okay. I'll use count. We're ending at a 3. And we're deducting by 3's in between. So we're decrementing by a 3 minus 3. So our loop goes from a 33 and decreases by 3 to 27 and so on until 3. And let's output these numbers. We've solved our first problem. Let's move on to the second one. Displaying uppercase alphabets in a backward order. We'll create a separate loop for our output of the letters. The initial letter will be a Z since we're moving from Z to A. So let's assign the variable letter. And now the loop. There's 26 letters. So we're counting from 1 to 26. Starting at a 1, ending at a 26. And we increment by 1. Now output these letters. And we assign this variable letter, the lesser letter of Z, by decrementing of a 1, so that the next output, it outputs a Y, and so on. Remember the condition in the loop is just for the output to be outputting 26 times. And we're done. So let's save our program. Compile and run. And there, um, let's display in a nicer format. Let's create space in between the numbers. And after the output of the numbers, let the alphabet start on a new line. And it's better now. We have our output. Multiples of 3 from 33 to 3. 33 and so on. And our uppercase letters from Z to A. You can have these alphabets in the same line if you like, like with the numbers. 
nonetheless that's all for me today guys don't forget to like the video and to subscribe so that you always get updated when we upload new content and if you have any problems that you'd like us to work on here kindly send it to our email address see you on our next video and remember to keep coding and keep coding because programming is the future